GOT channel. This tutorial series introduces the logging function for collecting device values. In this video, we will demonstrate the configuration for creating a historical trend graph that displays device data collected through logging. We will create a historical trend graph that displays the data of logging one, which was collected in the related video, how to configure logging. Open the GD Designer 3, find logging one in the project tree, and double click it to open the logging dialog to see the settings. Click the Create a new historical trend graph button to open the screen selection dialog. Then, click the OK button, and the historical trend graph will be placed on base screen 1. Now, adjust the position and size of the graph. Double click the historical trend graph to open the historical trend graph dialog. On the Data tab, select the devices to be displayed on the graph. First, we enter the number of pens. We enter 3 because the graph will display the values of the 3 devices we selected in the previous video, how to configure logging. Next, let's set the number of points to be displayed on the graph line. In this video, we want the graph to show the device values that were collected every second for 60 seconds. Enter 61 as the graph will show points per second from 0 to 60 seconds. Now, we select the devices to be displayed on the graph. Click the Editor button in the Number Logging Device field, and the device list appears. Select D5500 to D5502, and click the OK button. Next, we enter the lower and upper limit of the graph. Here, set the lower limit to 15, and the upper limit to 25. Next, let's fill in the style settings to configure the scale of the graph. First, let's set the positions of the graph axes. In this video, the right and bottom sides are used as axes, so click the left button and uncheck main scale and scale value boxes. Click the top button and uncheck the boxes in the same way. Next, we click the bottom button and set the scale of the lower axis. Next, we enter the main and subscale numbers. Here, we enter 4 for the main, and 1 for the subscale. Now, enter the number of values to be displayed under the scales. Here, enter 4. As the lower and upper limit values are displayed as points per second from 0 to 60 seconds, enter 0 for the lower limit, and 60 for the upper limit. Next, we click the right button and set the number of scale and scale values for the right axis. To match the values configured in the data tab, let's set the lower limit to 15 and the upper limit to 25. We now select whether to include or exclude the vertical and horizontal grid lines, as well as the outer frame of the graph. In this video, we check all the boxes. Next, let's set the Graph Auxiliary Line in the Auxiliary Line Cursor tab. Let's set the reference lines for the graph. Here, we set the display position of the reference line to 20. The display position of the lower limit line to 17. And the display position of the upper limit line to 23. Click the OK button. The configuration of the historical trend graph is now complete. When collecting device values using the settings of logging one and displaying the collected data on a historical trend graph, you can verify the result as shown. And that concludes our introduction to the historical trend graph configuration. We also have other videos available, so please be sure to check them out.